you guys, this is Diane from Teach Pre-K, and you guys all know, well, maybe you don't know, but I have um, a big resource store um, on Teachers Pay Teachers, and it's called Teach Pre-K. Um, it's got like a lot of dramatic play stuff, it's got boom card games, it's got lesson plans, math centers, literacy centers, uh, alphabet stuff, fine motor centers, it's got pretty much anything and everything that you could possibly need for your preschool and pre-k class but um, I created something today and I just kind of want to share it because I don't I don't share the stuff I create very much I always show you guys like what I'm doing in my week but I never just say look I just made this and I think it's adorable well I've made so many dramatic play things it's been a long time since um, I've created something new and my dramatic play stuff is my best sellers all the time because they're inexpensive um, they're super fun they all include a lot of things but I'm gonna show you my newest and I've created an abbreviated version for this um, for my pre uh, preschool planned subscription um, program I might just do a dramatic play subscription because I mean everybody loves dramatic play Okay, so this, this is my little cover image. It is my Cozy Cabin dramatic play set. So I always make these little buntings and I just make rectangular buntings. If they're laminated, you guys, so there's gonna be glare. But um, this one just has letters and it says welcome. The whole thing is welcome to our cabin. I punch holes in the top and I string these um, letters so it says Welcome to my cabin, and it will start and end with a little cabin. Um, so that is one thing. And then I just do like a lot of just like little signs, like um, kind of like environmental print, but not really. Just things where they can see either letters or numbers or both. So I've got tubing and sledding because it's like things you can do when you're at the cabin skiing a fire and get cozy come on in snowshoe I love snowshoeing hiking I live in the mountains you guys and I hate hiking fishing cabin life a little checklist of things to do sit by a fire go fishing roast marshmallows go skiing Climb a mountain, hike, ride your mountain bike, or canoe. Uh, welcome to our cabin. I would use this to like define the area. Then like fishing rods, you could have a little bucket of fishing rods. Snowshoes. I don't know if you're going to have any pretend snowshoes, but it's just fun to have that. Time for cocoa. So you could have little mugs, little coffee and cocoa set. Come in and relax. Skis and poles. Take off your boots. We don't want this cabin to be messy. Okay, then, you guys, I made, like, family pictures of, like, when the family has been at the cabin. And those can be displayed in this area, too. Here's, like, the whole family eating a big dinner at the cabin. Here's Grandma arriving. The snowy day. Maybe it's Christmas. Maybe it's Thanksgiving. Uh, people playing cards just outside. How fun. Mom loving on her kids. The whole family on the couch. Snow-covered peaks in the background. Super cute. Um, and then I have like little printable props. And I'll show you those because they're really cute. Little cabin window. Antlers. Because every cabin has to be decorated. A little fake pillow. Life is better at the cabin. This is on TV. They're watching some show about being in a cabin with a moose. Oh, everyone needs a giant flashlight. When you're at the cabin, you have to have a first aid kit. It's a long road to the hospital. Yes, this is itty bitty teeny tiny fire, but I have like a bigger fire so you could make your own fireplace out of like butcher paper and stuff. You'd even have the kids make that. Here's our little bitty log thing. I actually have some little logs be so cute in a basket for that. Here's our binoculars. 
smile. The gone fishing sign, because everyone needs gone fishing. Lantern, maybe you need to go out to the outhouse. I don't know. The worms for the bait for fishing. Bye bye bugs, bug spray. Tackle box. Um, and here, this is a really big deal in Utah. Like every cabin, every mountain lodge, everything has old fashioned wooden skis. But yeah, these are not even big enough for an American girl doll, but still fun. And then a fake little blanket. But you guys, oh, and then here's the fire that you can put in your pretend fireplace. But you guys, I thought about this and I thought, okay, we have a lot of camping props. So we have like flashlights and we have binoculars and we have camp stove stuff. You can use regular dishes. You can bring blankets from home. You guys, I have a million plaid throws. Uh, you could bring old flannel shirts. Like you could go to a thrift store and find some of this stuff if you don't have it at home. But you could get like woodland animal or mountain animal stuffed animals in there and just create this adorable little cabin. So I think I'm gonna have that um, by the time you see this video. I'm gonna try to put this in on Sunday. So if this is after Sunday, November, third, then it's already in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, and I'll have a link in my description. Um, but just so fun. And if you guys are interested in Preschool Planned, it is four lesson plans um, delivered to your inbox the first Monday of every month. And they're all standards-based. It's a lot of repeat activities, but they're all done to theme. And it's a good way to chart the progress of your students. Um, not, a, you know, I try to make them as different as possible, but there are things with young children that we like to practice over and over and over. Counting, one-to-one -one correspondence, a lot of fine motor stuff, um, talking about our feelings and emotions. Um, we like to form numbers, we like to form letters, we like to match our upper and lowercase letters. We like to identify our numbers, we like to put things in number order. So I do a lot of activities, opposites, beginning sounds, um, rhyming words, just pretty much covering at the basic level everything that we do. Some in preschool, but like the whole thing in pre-K. Um, anyway, I have created some amazing stuff in my 10 years of being a teacher's pay teacher seller, and I'm kind of trying to consolidate the best of the best in these smaller lesson plans. Um, but there's enough stuff for five days. And I plan the five days out for you. Like I said, they're all standards-based, coded to standards. And it's amazing. I'll leave a link for that here um, in the description too. But um, check out my cozy cabin because how fun. For um, November dramatic play, December dramatic play, January dramatic play, can't go wrong. I think any and all of those would be absolutely amazing and they're only four dollars in my teachers pay teacher store so four bucks you get a lot of stuff 